Yeah, I think it would be really valuable in if 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 it could carry through getting lists of volunteers to donate to. Mm -hmm. Right now, most of the spreading of this like Mastercard numbers so is mostly happening on Twitter, and it's hard to keep track of this unless you have like real. Um, Unless it's like you're on the ground and you actually need something, then this is like a kind of different story. Scrap it up, so you're kind of like more like passive, passively looking out for the help and you get, get a passive reaction and then you start actively donating. Um, yeah, I really like the idea of the, the donation. I was wondering, is that, uh, did you get a sense that they were kind of moving in that direction? I, I may have misheard something. I, I was under the impression that's kind of like, you had this idea for extending it, but is that something that they had been working on? I remember him mentioning that, but I don't think the, the, they, they, they mentioned at first that they wanted, but I, it's not like was not part of the implementation. Like it was not for the focus and that you're doing the hackathon. Yeah. So with like Scrappy Dev, uh, Devs and Wobbly, I feel both of those are very interesting uh, to me. Like, you know, I'm all the way out here in America and I'd like to kind of know what's happening. And it'd be really nice to be able to get some sort of like understanding yeah. of the news. I do, I do wonder if, if I were in Ukraine and like, let's say I am in, I don't know, Kiev, I'd probably have a pretty good sense for what's happening just through whether that's, you know, Twitter or uh, kind mm -hmm. of like my local gossip networks. So I wonder if that would be as much utility for people who are there versus people who are not there. But I don't know. Again, it's just, I feel so, you know, distant from what's happening and especially not you know, speaking Ukrainian, I can understand what people are saying, but it's not, uh, I'm not like fluent in it. So it's, um, it's difficult for me to kind of like assess the situation as well. You know, I think like when you're there, you got different ways of like spreading information, which is mostly peer to peer. Like, and a Telegram is very popular, like among young yep. population and Viber is popular among older population. Um, and a lot of stuff is happening like in Facebook and Twitter. So I don't think I would be using something like the lobby or Scrappy Devs. Like Scrappy Devs would fit more like for um, um, people outside Ukraine, like passively looking for things. And Wobbly has, for, for me, it has archival value. So, uh, I, I, it, so I'm, I'm working with speech recognition mostly, and I kind of care about collecting like recent news because it, it makes for better language models. But I have a super narrow context for it. Like, I, I, I need like crawling news, but uh, I don't know. Like, if I took Wobbly's code, I wouldn't like delete all the things. I can make it my own. But I wouldn't really love for someone to provide the service like that. Okay, yeah. could you? I would like pay Ilya yeah, if you would complete some of those. So I have some utility. It, it, it could bring me value this way, but it's uh, not exactly something I can verify by asking him a question right now. I didn't get a chance to, um, or I haven't dug into the code where they're doing this paving. Do you know where they're sourcing the information for what that is? Yeah, we don't have, I don't know. Like, there's no mentioning of it and, and the sound of the So we can ask you, yeah, I think, in the chat. No, that's fine. I just, I was curious if it's something that you ran across. I didn't see it, but. Yeah, that's, that's another thing I wonder about. Like, I know in America, everyone uses Google, but yeah. not being in Ukraine or like knowing if they target things differently. Uh, I do wonder, like, uh, for, for instance, Scrappy Devs, like, how good of an idea is it to just rely on Google? And I know this is a much larger question of, like, what is a reputable source and, like, what are the different biases of the various um, organizations? But from, uh, like, in your experience, in your opinion, do you feel like that's a relatively uh, reasonable source to rely on if you're in Ukraine? Like, if you just default to Google News, does it give you, um, you know, good information? Mm, no, not really. I think Google News is outdated for me. Like, it, I have really, like, I don't think it, like, it's hard to find things like, using Google for me. Like, I usually default to Twitter or, uh, in Ukraine's case, it's mostly Telegram right now. I'm subscribing yeah. to a bunch of stuff and uh, most of this new content that surfaces in Telegram. Um, Telegram. 
So I, I don't know. Yeah, I think the is... idea, like scrappy dabs, could be really cool if executed well, like in the future. Yeah, it feels. Uh, man, it feels weird giving this like uh, very linear scoring. I know that's what we have to do as judges. Yeah. That's what we sign up for. But yeah, I agree with you. I, I really like the math interface. Um, having been in other situations, not quite like this, but being in other countries or uh, being with like groups that need to coordinate spatially, I think having like a map first uh, design is a really cool idea. It's a great portal toward a lot of things. I almost like seeing all these projects. I kind of wish. You know, that there were like, uh, I know hindsight's 2020, but like, you know, if Wobbly were able to collaborate with Scrappy Devs, they were able to kind of like source, uh, the best, uh, the best news or the things that are most highly corroborated and like, yeah. uh, you know, help the Scrappy Devs database or if like Dropshop yeah. or, uh, but even a team safety pin, right? Could potentially show where people are on the map or whatever. It seems like there's yeah. so much potential in these parties and teams. Yeah. Yeah, to build. I feel like doing it around two, like we eliminate half of the team and then we <laughs> make them join each other. This is so, so they get hard. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I feel you. I mean, organizing is this pain. Oh, like open door sanctuary spent, you know, they like every waking minute. Uh, I wish I had added like a, maybe like a grit, <laughs> like a great grit here. Score? But yeah. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, it sounds like they had some technology wall, like they had a merge conflict. Mm -hmm. Like, man, I mean, having to deal with these things during a hackathon is the worst. Right. Yeah. yeah. They, they also, they have a difficult challenge, I believe, of kind of like the verification. I was, I was uh, hoping to mm. do some kind of a softball by saying maybe there's a way to uh, integrate with, uh, couch surfing or Airbnb or something. Uh, I, I say that just because it's difficult to get these things off the ground, right? If if you're trying to verify that someone's like a safe person, the way that a lot of these services have done it is just over time, eventually you kind of bubble up the people who enough people agree are safe. But it's difficult to get the thing going. Like if, if I'm the, you know, even if I'm buying something on like Amazon, if there are no reviews, I'm like, oh, you know, should I really spend 20 bucks on this thing? Whereas like if I'm saying I'm, you know, a 35-year-old single woman with two children, Am I going to like go to this person's, like I have to have like a lot of faith in the verification system to say I'm going to like take my family and move potentially, you know, many kilometers away to, to this place. So I think it's, it's a really cool idea, but it's also really challenging. It's, um, it's a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a lot, but it's a very hard problem and I keep being to like from, from 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 the business side of things, I don't see a way of like we're going. I do see like a good team that's trying to execute an entire project, but I don't see like a, a working a working app. But that would go into the the grid score, I suppose, because they're taking yeah. on a really big challenge, and I respect yeah. that. I think someone needs to do yeah. this. Yeah, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a so, I, I want to go back to like, what's our goal right now? Are we supposed to like, to list, to uh, submit a rank or, or, or do we only select a single team that's like the winner? Yeah, I set it up in a point system where this would be easy and automatically kind of answered for us. Yeah. And if we look at that. Yeah. Yeah. If we look at that, it gives us a, 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 a placement here, but. I'm happy to, you know, we don't have to follow this sort of rule. Um, so it's, it's pretty free here. So, I mean, the prize is uh, submitting money to an NGO of, of their choice, right? Yeah. And I, it would be great if I gathered some suggestions from both of you guys to present to the, to the winning team as well. Um. Or we could do we could do that. Uh, it doesn't have to be at the second. Um, that that can be taken care of after the hackathon as well. But yeah, so the meeting team will be donating. Say that again. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was just sure. gonna say I've uh, I've only 
heard of organizations that are apparently doing things, but mm. um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of personal experience with them. So if anyone has like actual actual experience with these organizations, I'd feel much more confident in those recommendations. Definitely. Yeah, and I, I would definitely run a like, Twitter search to see who just like for money right now because uh, the de- my default uh, kitchen sink for money is to come back alive anyway. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Also, yeah, there is some interesting opportunities pop up where people need help. I will pass this on to the winning team. I think they will collaborate and do some research themselves. They'll take my suggestions from here and uh, they'll tell me who they want and we'll donate the uh, the funds that was donated by Sabia for $1,000. Um, yeah, it'll go to that, their charity of choice. Um, going back to the points system, did you have any additional thoughts here? For the, te- for the winning teams? So just to clarify... Um to last point, is the idea that there's just going to be uh, one winner of the hackathon rather than a going game? So we, I, I'd like to have a first, second, and third place. Uh, okay. That's just historically how we've done it here. I think teams are expecting that as well. Can, can we do like Olympic where we share the third place so we can trade between Wobbly and Scrappy Devs? Mm. I suggest that because they have like so... Team safety ping and drop shots seem to be good at execution. And Scrappy Devs have probably have different, uh, viewpoints of the same idea where we, um, where they kind of, um, they read news and probably I think they had like a, a very lightweight tech execution and Scrappy Devs had like a really good idea. And I wonder. Okay. Well, what was the suggestion about? Uh, what was the suggestion uh, here? Share the third place between Wobbly and Scrappy. Uh, absolutely, yeah, totally open for that. So, third place. I'm I, I'm a little bit conflicted because Team Safety Pin consists of a team member that's in my work team, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we want to avoid any type of bias. Um, so, okay, third place split between who, blood? Scrappy Dives and Wobbly. And are both of you guys in agreement? Team Safety Pin is the winner here. I mean, again, I'm I'm super biased towards things that are kind of out there because I get the sense that those, or at least in my experience, those are the things that tend to uh, live on past the hackathon. It kind of gives mm-hmm. people motivation to keep working on it. So I really like that. I'd very much like to help reward teams that are able to pull through. I, I, I say that just because like every project that works on, the technical challenges are like less than half the problem. It's almost always like, can the team work together well? Are people able to you know, figure out what it is that they're doing. Can they prioritize? Can they, um, yeah, resolve merge conflicts, all those kind of organizational things. So I'd really like to recognize that they're able to to do that. In terms of which one is first, you know, I, I have to admit, I have not had a chance to use either of their apps. I mean, this is probably something I should have, uh, if possible, I should have done before this because then I think I'd be able to give a more, um, uh, um, yeah, more valid sort of ranking. To me, those two though, they, they, they feel like the top because if, if indeed these things work and people are able to install it and use it and give them feedback, I think that's incredibly valuable. Uh, I'm not, I'm not super clear on how well they work though, just because I haven't been able to use them myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One other thing with drop shop is that, so we can try it out by sending like messages to a number. Um. Yeah, I just, uh, yep. for like a second, I thought it's impossible to try it, but I remember that there's a number we can send things to. I don't feel like that. Yeah, so, no. I, yeah, I, I started, um, 
I, I think the slide went off screen, so I didn't get a chance to remember the syntax. Um, yeah, it's, it, to me, like if, um, the fact that team safety pin kind of had a very simple idea, I, I guess in my mind, I was thinking it's more likely that it's, they're going to be able to execute on it just because it's relatively simple and the kinds of like, uh, not criticism, but the kinds of questions I had were like, well, you know, what would you do if someone's battery died or something? They're very simple kinds of questions. There wasn't a whole lot that, um, was left up to the imagination with drop shop. I think Vlad brought up some really good points where you have to get both sides of the market on board. You have to get the supplier kind of working. And then I think there's also the question of, um, reviews. I know they talked about having verification. It's a good idea. Uh, having like the, the picture as a verification. That being said, um, yeah, what, what, uh, what do you do if someone kind of like abuses this system and then it loses trust? It seems a little more complicated. So for that reason, I guess. If I had to guess, it's going to be more difficult for them to pull off and to create a seamless sort of customer experience. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a risk. I agree with you. For that reason, I would rank safe to think higher, which is consistent with this core board. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I like all these. I like all the teams. I, I wish there were just a way to... Um, to encourage folks to, to work on this stuff. Everyone's probably already really tired though because they've been working on this all weekend, right? Definitely, yeah. Uh, I've also asked Anna to step in here to uh, help record uh, our feedback, if that's okay, to share with uh, the teams. Yeah. Uh, she's been sure. Um, excellent. I think, so let's just uh, um, make sure we're on the same page here. First place team safety ping, safety pin, uh, second place drop shop, and a third, third place split between scrappy devs and wobbly. Um, that sounds right. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm good to me. Yeah. Let me add this in our presentation here. Um, feel free to, uh, jump out, uh, feel free to stay in here, but yeah, feel free to jump out so, um, folks can know that we're about to begin again, and then I'll put this, um, to our slides here and, uh, start the next ceremony. And, uh, Anna, is there anything that you'd like to... Uh, hear from us. I don't know how early you got to jump into the conversation. Yeah. Hi. Um, I, I don't think so. I was just recording it for the teams. Um, I might have missed some of the teams that haven't placed, I guess. Um, so maybe if you just wanted to share feedback for the teams that aren't placed. Yeah, that'd be great. Sure. sure, I can. Yeah. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah, so uh, both with uh, Team 1 and Team 3, uh, which is to say um, Open Door Sanctuary and uh, Dev Team Bravo, I thought the idea itself was very valuable. Um, there's immediate benefit in people being able to get connected with jobs um, and with refuge. Fantastic ideas. I I love both of those. And in some ways, I, I'd say those are like the most impactful ideas of the ones that we've seen, just because those are some of the biggest problems people face. Um, the, the reason uh, that those teams didn't, you know, um, place, as you said, uh, is just because it's, it is a very difficult problem as well. So both of those are two-sided marketplaces. So you have to, in order for it to create value, you have to uh, solve this coordination problem of getting um, both the, in the case of, you know, the jobs, the job seekers and the people who are, um, creating the, uh, the openings or posting them, you have to get both of them using it to a, a level where it becomes useful, right? Because if there are no jobs, the job seekers aren't going to look for them there. And if there are no people looking for them there, the people who are posting jobs aren't going to do it. So I think there's just a very, a challenging problem to solve to get people on board. I think there are ways around this. I think there are probably ways to uh, reach out to folks on LinkedIn. They can make it easy for people to import 
uh, existing jobs. I know there are a lot of remote work sort of uh, websites that post jobs. So there might be a way to see this and get it working. I just see it as a relatively um, difficult thing to solve, which isn't to say it's not solvable. It's just uh, it might be hard to get off the ground. Um, and I think the main reason, though, uh, the main reason that they do not place is just because of execution. I guess we call it polish in this particular rubric. But at the end of the day, with software, it's it's just like a it's a tool to solve a problem, right? And so if it's not out there and it's not running, it's very difficult to get feedback from your users. It's difficult to uh, keep the team morale going because I think a lot of times if people especially spend you know a ton of time working on something and there isn't uh, a thing to show uh, that actually it sort of weighs on the organization. People put a lot of time into something and then they're not able to um, to have a working thing. I, I've personally found in software development it's really important to do things iteratively, so you always have a thing that's kind of working and that motivates your team to keep working on the next feature. So just from an organizational standpoint, I think they took on a very big challenge. And um, not not really faulting anyone for this, but it's very difficult to execute on something like that. So um, just compared to the other projects, I feel uh, they uh, the ratio of like how big the problem was versus the ability to execute um, it just it was, it was lower than the the teams that ended up placing. And then um, so I guess there's six, and uh, the the other uh, the other four place. I, I don't know. Is that is that useful, useful feedback, Anna? I, I think that's I very think that's useful. Great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not on any of the teams. I didn't code anything, but as an outside observer, I think that's very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. I, I think there's covered a lot of ground. I just, to say what I remember, just like the scope is too large and the execution needs to be, uh, be there. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jamil, do you think that um, there are any other questions we should ask for the teams to hear later, or do you think we caught everything? I believe we caught everything. I am just finalizing the uh, slides here. Um, yeah, uh, judges, thank you again so much for your time. This was invaluable. Um, this is such an evergreen uh, uh, hackathon here. Um, yes, uh, feel free to uh, go back to the seats here, and I'll uh, and Anna, if you can get people kind of situated again, I'll bring it down a couple levels, and then <laughs> we'll start the uh, thing again. Okay, great. Thanks. Right, thanks everyone for doing this. Jamil, thanks for putting it together.